what's up y'all and welcome back to another day of vlogmas today it's gonna be a quick little tutorial on how to make homemade candy pecans if you guys watch my trader joe's haul you will know that i literally said that i'm obsessed with their candy pecan but a bag of those is six dollars all right and we in a recession so instead of paying six dollars for like a half a cup i decided well why not make my own so here we are here are the ingredients that I'm using. It's about one third cup of butter, one cup of brown sugar, two cups of pecan, some essence, some Trader Joe's organic vanilla bean paste, and some ground cinnamon. I also am gonna show you later in the video that I did add some allspice as well. If if you're new here, I'm so sorry to tell you that I don't really measure as far as like seasonings and stuff. So listen y'all, just, just eyeball it. Just make it taste good. And obviously sub out anything that you don't want or if there are any allergies, just make it taste how you want it to. So now I'm just taking that approximately a third cup of butter-ish and I'm gonna melt that into my cast iron. Now I'm taking that cup of brown sugar and I am going to pour that in. Y'all see what I did with the B-roll music? Yeah, come on. It's the details for me. Next up, I am using our approximately a half a cup of water. I also didn't show y'all that with the ingredients, but yeah, half a cup of water. And I purposely made sure that I started my heat on low and then gradually increased it, as you guys see, because I didn't want to pour all this stuff into an already hot skillet because I was scared that the sugar would burn. When you're working with sugar, like, there's a sweet spot, but literally right after the sweet spot, you got burnt stuff, and we don't have time for that. As that comes to a boil, I'm just gonna constantly give it a little stir to keep it from sticking. Remember what I told y'all? There go that all spice. It's like, you know, like a couple dashes. I don't know if you cook, how much was that? Same thing for the cinnamon. We just gonna eyeball it. It's just me using some essence and I'm using, I usually, I'm, I'm using about a teaspoon. As y'all see, I poured it in a cap. Like y'all, I'm serious, I really don't measure. This goes crazy on some French toast, so I thought, hey, why not? Just literally like a little dab. It is a paste, so it's thick like molasses. And we're just gonna stir that all together and get it all evenly combined. Once that comes to a nice boil, it is time to add our pecans. Then we're just gonna fold them all in, stir them up. Like I said, I'm gradually increasing the heat. So as you guys see, we get in a more rigorous, aggressive boil. What you guys see me doing here is kind of just pushing it around to see how quickly the sauce, I guess we're going to call it, how quickly it comes back together. You guys see how it's like coming right back together? In my head I'm like, mm, that's a little bit too quick so let me give it a, another minute. Sugar when you close to me, you love me right down to me. 
All right, you guys see how that's coming back together really slowly. That tells me that we are right about where we wanna be. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off, but leave the, the pan still on the heat just to kind of keep it warm because when we're working with sugar, you need to move fast and you're gonna see why. So here I'm just taking two forks and I tried to be all cute and like aesthetic and put them like this because I knew it would be easier when they dried. But let me tell you, that didn't last long. So as you guys see, it's still bubbling even though the heat is off. That's why I said to tear the heat off, but leave the pan there so that you have a little bit more time because y'all, you gotta be quick with this sugar, okay? Otherwise it will crystallize on you super fast. You guys can see I started getting impatient because that's just the Virgo in me and I started just dumping it out with a spatula. Learn from my mistake, do not do this because y'all see all of that extra sauce that's on the, the parchment paper, like that's gonna all crystallize. And what you guys see me doing now is separating them because I know that they're gonna stick together but I'm trying to avoid them sticking together as much as possible because it, it, it is a hassle to break them apart, which I ended up having to do anyway. But yeah, don't don't scoop out all that extra. You see all that extra in between? Yeah, like I didn't need that. So it just gave the pecan something to stick to it. If you guys see the forks, you see how fast this is crystallizing. Y'all, this is not even, I sped this up, but this clip wasn't even a minute. And you can see it's already starting to crystallize. Like, look, I had to literally go in and break apart all of those that are stuck in the globs of sauce. So, yeah, don't do that. But once you do, voila, we have some homemade candy pecans. And Malik said that they taste better than Trader Joe's. So, I just saved myself $6 a pack. And that's on period. It's me just showing you guys that they're not all stuck together. Because I watched some tutorials and one guy, he couldn't even take them apart. And I'm like, why would you show that? But nah, we got individual pecans over here. And they are super good, super light, great for snacking, great for adding to some salads. But that's all I have for you. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you're going to be trying it. If you're going to try this recipe, comment down below. And if you do try this recipe, make sure you tag me on Instagram. My Instagram is right here on the screen. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's Vlogmas video. Peace, y'all.